You can see. You think you're sick. They have to translate into use this. It is not a big conspirator of the Jesuit that you want to No. It is the apostles. Because before the apostles, the Jews, they made the Septuagint. They already used that. Record kay Bosch na. The Septuagint is the Greek version of the Old Testament. If this is the Greek version of the Old Testament, they already spelled in Greek. They already wrote in Greek. So, sige lang to. Please open up. Uh, John 19. Okay. I'm going to show you. In the time of the apostles, they wrote on them different languages. They don't take a different name. John. And today, a sprinter on the SDA teaches that. It's a sprinter. John 19. They call themselves the Hebrew Roots Movement, Restoration of the True Name Movement, Sacred Name. It can record even far. It can record your voice. It can. It can. It can. Uh, just a present. Okay. Um, please open up John 19. The apostles are not that much. But people today are dogmatic, that's why they explain that thing. This item the entire kingdom of the Jews. For the place where Jesus was crucified was the night of the city. And he was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. So, Jesus Nazarenus, Rex, Vitaimon, and Latin. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. They are written in three languages. And if the apostles were writing to the Gentiles, they were writing in Greek. They were not writing. They can translate the Hebrew, but if since the Gentiles don't understand Hebrew, they still have to translate, interpret the word that they are translating. John chapter 4, verse 25. Is while you're opening up, the messianics, the so-called messianics today, try to demonize the word Christ. John? They demonize, they consider it of the devil. They say it's bad. John 4.25. Please read. God is in his spirit. Well, that's your extension. Very nice. Now, the messianic says, oh, we should not use the word Christ. Because the word Christ is not in Greek. But used by the pagans, the Greeks, before. So we're not pagans. So we should use Messiah. Actually, it's not Messiah. Messiah is a translation. The original translation is Messiah. Um, Messiah. 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 It's the <coughs> That's So, Messiah, the one you're reading in English, is a Greek transliteration using Greek alphabet to translate Messiah into a readable language. But as they read Messiah, they still don't understand. So, John added Christos, which means Christos. Which means the anointed one. Messiah. The meaning of Messiah is Christos. Now, did they demonize this? No. The apostles use this without, uh, without fear, without any concern. They are not. They don't. They are not imagining that they are compromising the pagans. No. They use that language without. So. There's nothing wrong. The wrong in there is the mentality that there is plastic. That I, I don't know about that. No, no, I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. Do not for one minute think if you use Hebrew, it is better than Greek. Because you're no uh, higher in each of the ground God than the other. Because what is wrong is the condemnation. 
What is wrong is the image interpretation. This is much more correct than this. There's no such thing as that. Blood. The last one spread. Take note that it's relaxed. Right. Last 15 minutes more. Okay. There's nothing wrong. Yes, that's why I'm not emphasizing. But take note, since there are preachers today emphasizing that this is wrong, this is right, okay? we should be careful not to reinforce. Actually, it's originally Greek, Jesus. It came from Jesus. The original language that spread out in the Roman Empire was Greek. The Bible was written in Greek. Book of Revelation. That's Greek letters. Uh, Apollyon and Abaddon. It was Hebrew and Greek translated together. The original writing of the New Testament was in Greek. They preached in English. They know this first before they know this. Because they don't know how to read So let's say, within Israel, they speak Hebrew. But Israel rejected the gospel. It doesn't matter to God whether they speak or Hebrew. But when it's spread to the Gentiles, they, this is the first word they learn. It's the first word they learn. It is in God's predestination that now, why did God allow Alexander the Great to become, to, to conquer the known world before the Romans? Because the purpose was spreading of the Greek language so that the gospel would easily be spread. There are no barriers of different languages. They had a common language that they could understand each other. So, it was intended by God that through that Greek language, the gospel of Jesus Christ was spread. They learned first Greek before they learned Hebrew. The unsubtitle is better than Hebrew. Neither is the other two. We must be careful for those people today that are being taught by the opposite abilities. They're very uh, prevalent here. That this, uh, this is wrong, this is right. Greek is wrong and Hebrew is right. Okay? The right term, if you're preaching honestly, if you're preaching honestly, you should not say this is the right name, the wrong name. That's deceptive. There's deception in the preaching. The right term, if you're preaching honestly. That's right, the name. Oh, that's not the word name. It is, this is the original language. So, if you should use the, the original language, the original spelling, the original translation. Then if you do that, it is extra knowledge. It is not something that you, you insist on people. Why? There is no commandment in the Bible that you should pronounce it this way. There is no commandment in the Bible that you should use Hebrew or Greek. But they add it. You just remove this original pronunciation thing. <coughs> You just remove this. You just remove this. And they speak directly to the people, the original name. Oh, people are deceived. People are deceived. They misinterpret the word name as meaning pronunciation. If you pronounce it differently, they say it's a different name. So, here it comes the false doctrine. And how they subvert people's lives. There are, in our church, and they're spreading. If you think within your own imagination there's no harm, yes, I think the same way. I know you this long time ago. But those groups are spreading, and the people that they're witnessing, you could be reinforcing. I've been using this before I before they become prevalent. But when they become prevalent in the radio, I insist that they use this. So they they will ask questions. In our church, in the church, uh, if, 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 did you know the church that we we, we went? It, went through the whole of a needle in survival. Why? The pastor was converted to this, to this kind of doctrine, and he insisted it of the church. So, we went through the whole of the needle because the pastor of the church, he has the authority, using his authority, to press it to people. So, going back to this, I, I continuously use Jesus to 
let him hear <coughs> so she would ask questions. I was the one teaching the pastor. But why did I use this? Because so that the people that we think rich that this is wrong, this is right, should ask questions. If I continue, if I use this for myself, there's nothing wrong. But in the Bible, not all things are not to our expedient. But for the sake of the other souls to hear this, they will be pushed into extremism. That's why I I deliberately <laughs> use this English word so that they will ask questions. And they have a chance to prove if what is being taught to them are right. The teaching is different anymore. They are demonizing the Greek language, they're demonizing uh, the Greek name, and every people using that. Even the Bible, they're demonizing it. Because when you read the Bible, the apostles translate it into Greek teaching that's corrupted. They went as far as to that. That's why we must be very careful. When I started in the NMM, I already knew this. There's no extremism here. When I started in Pongyo, I taught this. There was no extremism. I even, uh, because I met in somewhere else, I warned them of this group, but they didn't research my crimes. When this group did arrive, they didn't know a thing of the evidence. They just get carried away. Oh, would you dare use the thing of saying that God saved us up in the real thing that saved? It'll just show a little bit of language history. Oh, people are convinced. How ignorant, ignorant people are something. And it's very hard to play catch up, although their, their, uh, their explanation is deceptive. When people have committed themselves, and when people have ratified themselves in those, uh, in that language name, it's very hard, because if they committed, they won't admit their own. That's the damage. And you should be aware. Right now, if I'm experienced on that, I'm letting you know, you haven't met them. You haven't met how they did to people. And you have to be aware, okay? Now I'm going to do the gas head. Since I have 15 minutes. Ten, ten minutes. Ten minutes. I hope uh, when they do come, we will give them hearty welcome because at least, at least they will meet someone that can expose even they themselves are much wrong. Let's talk about the gas head. Uh, these are, let's talk, uh, let's give a short cut explanation, they give Jesus Christ. Okay, the reason Christ has daily because of the indwelling of God. So Christ has his, does not have his own deity. The deity Christ has came from God, his Father. Now let's read scriptures. Between the two of them, who is God? I'll give scriptures, copy them down. Ephesians 1, 3, 17. John 17, 3, 20, 17. I'd like to read. Please open up. Maybe brother, please do. Just uh, type them out in this uh, laptop, portable laptop. Okay. John 17. John 17, 3. Who is the only God? Did he say both of them or one of them? And this is like the third one. The same way to know Jesus. Please stop. Mark it down. B. B. Uh, uh, the only true God of Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. 20 verse 17. Jesus saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Christ Jesus has a Father, has a God. It is our God and our Father. Acts 1, 3. Ephesians 1. 
Sorry. Ephesians 1, 3. There are lots of scriptures, I'm just being confused. Then I'm going to show the scriptures to you well. There's even uh, scriptures on the Holy Spirit. The union of the Father and the Son, the Father and the Son, 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 the Meaning me Bible ka? So that I can shoot here. Very perfect. Okay, it's nearby and me. Okay. 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 I think I can the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God, our Father, is also His God and His Father. He never thought to send Him of Himself, His God the Son. God the Son is very different from the Son of God. God the Son is a Catholic invention. Son of God and God the Son has different meanings. Let's see. Just replace this with doctor. Doctor, son. Son of the doctor. What is the difference? Doctor the son. Doctor the son. The doctor is the son. Son of the doctor. The doctor is the father. You see friends? This is the biblical term, Son of God. But uh, 300 years later, they reversed it. God the Son. There's even what they call the Son of God. <coughs> there was S-U-N, Son of God, and it became the Son of God. That's why there's God the Son. Now, in the Trinity, the deity of the Son is independent of the Father. He is God apart from the Father. Do you believe that? Another God apart from the Father. Now let's read where did the deity of Christ come from? In Scripture. John 1, 32, 33. 3, 34. Last three minutes. Inubo ng Diyos ang nagsasalita ng mga salita ng Diyos sapagkat hindi niya ibinibigay ang Espiritu sa pangagitan ng tukas. God gave His Spirit to His friends not by measure. So it's unlimited. It's the fullness of the Godhead. So He was given. He was not originally God. He was just given the Spirit of God. John 14, 10. Oh, uh, <laughs> but, but, 
Seventeen meaning by some seventeen. The father dwelling. Upang sila lahat ay maging isa. Nagaya mo, ama, sa akin at ako sa iyo. Na sila na may tumaak, tumaak atin upang ang sandibutan ay Tumang palataya na ako ay sinubo na ito. Okay, first, my demand is God and no mother are in me. There's the union of the Spirit, baptism of the Holy Ghost. Christ is the first one who receives the baptism. Then he poured out the baptism to others. And this is what he was referring to. Acts 2, 33. He received the Spirit from God. He poured out the Spirit. It's not his own Spirit. The Spirit of God that was given to him. He poured out the Spirit. That's why people get themselves in Him. That's why His name is not His own name. It's the name of the only God. Amen, amen. That's why He has deity. But that deity is not a kind of deity that will rival the Father because that's the deity of the Father Himself. Second Corinthians 5, 19. God was in Christ. The Apostle of the Lord, God. Is Christ, or Christ is God. The God was in Christ. That's the original apostolic language. We are going back to the original apostolic language. If you don't go back to the original apostolic language, you're going to confuse the people. Okay? So, in the future, maybe we can tackle how the verses they use to prove of Trinity or the one that. Yes. Okay, time is over. Uh and we are finished.